love you. I don't love you. You don't love me. 在繁华的香港，乔伊和伊森这两位菲律宾移工克服了人生种种羁绊，成了男女朋友。然而，当乔伊为了实现梦想，独自离开香港，前往加拿大之后，他们的爱情该何去何从？续集片《你好，爱》再一次，故事发生在五年之后。当年因为异地相恋和对未来的看法不同，乔伊和伊森选择了分手。但在加拿大的意外重逢，再度点燃了两人心中埋藏已久的爱火。When Ethan、uh, let Joy、uh, go to Canada, far away from him,、uh, also that that's also a challenge that he has to take. And you know how is it like to you know. Uh, be in love in a distance. I think that's、uh, one of the major challenges that these two characters have, and also the circumstances that has changed. You know, when the pandemic happened, what has happened、uh, to them individually and as a couple, and you know, will love be always the answer to everything? We'll we'll see.、Um, the characters have grown as well, so it's something to watch out for. Joy and Ethan, just like normal human beings, they change, they evolve, because of the circumstances、mm -hmm. and because of life in general.、Mm -hmm. So they will get to see that once they watch the film. And more than the love story, I think there's so much more once they get to see it. Si Ethan, tondo kayon para mapagsama-sama lang sila magkakapatid. 经过五年的等待，凯撒林·贝尔纳多和奥尔登·理查兹这对超高人气影星再度携手合作，靠着他们长期培养的好默契，要把片中细腻的情感诠释得更加深刻。What was it like working together again after a few years? We became more comfortable with each other. The way we take on scenes and、uh, you know、uh, doing filming every day is like. A walk in the park for us, but not the scenes, though.、Yeah. But it's it's really more of、um, our our dedication to our craft as actors is really there. I I felt it with Kath, and I think、um, that's that really helped us a lot、uh, to make this film effective and to make our our roles effective for this project. When you go to work, it's easier to work with friends, right? Yeah. So you go to work, no matter how、um, hard the day is, or how no matter how. Um, hard the scenes,、um, or I think it's just easier if you have、um, someone to talk to.、Mm -hmm. We have our director, we have our producer, and this guy also. So, yeah, we're just very lucky to be surrounded by these people, and they made work. A bit easier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 另外，本片剧组移师到地广人稀的加拿大亚伯达省拍摄，与上集在繁华的香港取景截然不同。故事巧妙融入了菲律宾移工的真实移民经历，刻画出流浪异乡追逐梦想的孤寂感，却让观众都能感同身受。I think I prepared myself emotionally as well because I will be. Far away from home for a month, and that's not a joke. Going home、um, in a hotel and not in your real home, right? From your away from your friends, away from your family. So that was a bit hard for me. In terms of the OFW or the international worker story, that's something that、uh, Hong Kong and Canada has in common for、uh, the Filipinos because you know you have to grind every day, you know, to make a living, to give your family a better life, to give yourself a better life as well. So those are the things that.、Um, Make Hong Kong and、uh, Canada different and、uh, the same. 除此之外，《你好，爱》再一次不止探讨爱情，也深入反映如何疗愈过往的伤痛。两位主角为戏做足了准备，以精湛的演技，真挚传达出角色在情感上的挣扎和自我解脱。I have to rewatch Hello, Love, Goodbye again. And see how the dynamics of Joy and Ethan was, and how Ethan was with his friends as well, and how he is as a person in that film. And there were a lot of changes、uh, on both characters actually in this film. And、um, you just have to make sure that you know there's really a huge change of、uh, the way they take on life because five years is a long time. And a lot of things has happened, especially like the highlight of that five years is the pandemic, and you know how the pandemic really changed these characters and us as individuals globally. Do you want me to leave? Do you want me back?
不愿轻易错过每一次的相处时刻。你好，爱再一次就要看乔伊和伊森能否在新的生活考验中找到爱情的出口。东新闻殷宏文在好莱坞的采访报道。